What is going on guys, Knoxville363. I'm going to show you how to put a custom ROM on your ZTE Warp. So as you can see, I currently have a custom ROM running on this Warp. As you can tell by the font, the battery, and the service. Now, with this particular ROM, he has Go Launcher, EXN Launcher 7, as uh, along with the stock launcher. Now, um, I don't know if this one runs any faster or anything along those lines, but some other things that he added with this ROM that I noticed right off the bat were the ES File Explorer, Font Installer, Fox, Fi, and I know there's a Root Uninstaller, and I believe that was it. Oh, I'm sorry, and Root Explorer. I think those are the only applications that he took away from what originally comes with the phone. Now adding, I mean obviously this isn't my phone so I didn't really customize it at all but those are just little things that you can do with it that he included with this ROM. This ROM is going to be different than any of the other ones and now I'm going to show you how to install it. All right, if you click in the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page right here. Huge shout out to whoever this is. I don't know. But anyways, he or she is the creator of this ROM. Now, at any point in time you guys come across a ROM, what you're going to see is, like, this person was awesome enough to include screenshots of what the ROM actually looks like. And they always indicate what the features are. Okay, so like this one has the V6 supercharger, manually themed, you know, just little things like that. I mean, you guys can run through them yourselves. Um, obviously, you use these ROMs at your own risk, so if something ever happens, don't come back and blame these people, and especially don't be blaming me. Biggest thing you want to do, scroll on down to downloads and you're going to get another zip folder just like that. Go ahead and click on the download button, save it to your desktop. Alright, so now that we have that downloaded, go ahead and click on let's see if he, okay, now this, he doesn't change colors, he just says in use. So go ahead and make sure that your phone is connected to your PC, that you have USB storage turned on so you can get the root of your SD card. Go ahead and open that up. Go ahead and find the ROM that I already have downloaded. Go ahead and click and drag it on the root of your memory stick. SD card rather. Sorry, I always see memory stick. And once you are finished with that, go ahead and X out of that. Go ahead and turn USB storage off. So it'll just say USB connected. Obviously, if you're on stock, he'll be green. So once he's back on green, we're going to go ahead and in the description I'll have the ZTE folder go ahead and right click extract here so you just have your folder go ahead and double click on that and you're gonna have this folder uh, these files inside the folder simply double click on run me I have already run through the steps go ahead and press on any key to continue now it's going to reboot and it'll be green just like that. Let's go ahead and wait 10, 20 seconds because apparently that's a very important step. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 20 seconds. Go ahead and press any key to continue sending recovery. Now you're going to give it a couple seconds. Now what it's going to do is it's going to reboot. Wait until you see the lock screen before you touch any keys on your computer. Sorry, I literally just made a video run through the same steps, so I was going to skip them, but I figured if someone doesn't watch the other video, then I don't want to have a non-informative video for this, so people are asking tons of questions. I can just take the time and run through it in this one. So now give it a couple seconds, we see the lock screen, go ahead and press any key. Now what the phone's going to do is it's going to reboot into the clockwork mod menu. 
and if you watch the other video that I just did on how to root the ZT warp, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. You're going to be using the down and up on the volume rocker in the home and the back button. So now what you want to do, once again, go ahead and install zip from SD card. Go ahead and press home. Choose zip from SD card's very first choice. Don't touch anything. Go ahead and press home. And you want to scroll down to this particular ROM. It's called WP7. or backslash ROM version 2.2.0.zip. And you would go ahead and press home on that. And it'll install it. Now, keep in mind, I think it was during the extracting process that that was when I actually had it, it like took about I don't know 20 seconds so don't panic and think that your phone froze up or anything else like that once it says it's finished what you want to do is wait until it says finished on here then you can simply go ahead and hit back hit back until you get back to this menu where a reboot system now is your very first option go ahead and click home and it'll reboot and now you can enjoy your custom ROM now if for any reason you ever want to go back to stock if you want to send it back to Boost Mobile or ZT Warp or anywhere, make sure you check out my next video. Anyways, this is the same process. Anytime you want to install a new ROM on your phone, I'm sure there's a much simpler way to get into the recovery menu on my LG Marquee. It was just an option I can use off Switch Pro. However, I don't really use ZT Warp anymore, so therefore I don't know. And once you go back, that's when you know you will have the custom ROM because of the different options. And you'll be able to know right away if you're using this particular ROM right off the get-go because of the battery or whatever that is on the top. So, thank you guys for watching. If you have any types of questions, if you're lost on a step or anything, don't hesitate to send me a message. I'm not telling you not to leave a comment. However, I don't get to read everybody's comments all the time, so that's why I always emphasize on people... Uh, leaving me a message as opposed to so thanks for checking it out if you want to know how to put your phone back in stock uh, back to the stock the way it came right out of the box check out my next video